guys. It's Amy Dove, the Keto Queen. I hope you're having a great day. It's Sunday. We're home from the lake house. We had a great time at the clubhouse with the puppy dogs, my mom and dad. And now we're home and we are making dinner. So guys, if you have been following my page, I know that you saw Haley sharing a dish with me earlier this week. And it was so delicious, I decided I was going to cook it myself. It's the very first time I've ever cooked spaghetti squash. It has gotten so cold outside, it's crazy. It was like 80 degrees last week, and today it's 60. The high is 60. It was like 40 this morning on our way home. So we are making a spaghetti squash if I can open it. Hang on a second. Come on now. We'll get this. There we go. There we go. Love this thing. <laughs> it's a little jar opener from Pampered Shelf. It's about a million years old. All right, so this is my first adventure making spaghetti squash. And I only did it because I got brave after Haley fixed it. And it tasted so delicious. So I'm excited to experiment with recipes. But first, I wanted to do the one that Haley did because it was so good. So I'm making an actual spaghetti style spaghetti squash. And then next week, we're going to be doing some adventuring with some spaghetti squash because it was so easy to cook. I'm going to show you what I did in just one second. Let me go ahead and get my sauce started. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of water in there. Ooh, that's going to be good. Whoops. Hang on one second. I got, as you guys come on, let me know where you're watching from. We're cooking early today. I told Ricky a while ago, we're going to go ahead and cook early today so that we can just clean the house. And I've got a pack because I got an impromptu invitation uh, to Dallas to a great, um, a great opportunity. I'm so excited. So I'm going to be leaving Tuesday morning for Dallas just for one full night. Um, but it's going to be worth it. I'm so excited. Uh, so we're going to cook early today so that I can clean up a little bit and get packed up since I didn't plan this trip. And let me show you what I've done so far. I have done quite a bit because I just got home and was cleaning up the kitchen. So I've never cooked this spaghetti. Okay, give me some hearts if you can hear me. They quit, they quit ringing. Can you hear me? If you can hear me, give me some hearts because I don't want to keep talking and you guys not be able to hear me. Sometimes when my phone rings, it messes up the volume. Yay, I see hearts. Thank you so much. So this is the first time I've cooked spaghetti squash myself. I've seen people do it. The reason I hadn't done it before is because it takes so long, or it felt like it took so long. But today, I, I prepared this, and then I was working on some recipe blog. I was putting some more recipes in my recipe blog, and the timer went off. I'm like, oh my God, has it been 40 minutes already? So it cooked really, really fast. So what I did is I took Haley's advice. I did it like Haley did. I took my whole squash, and I poked holes in it with a fork. I put it in the microwave for five minutes, and then I cut it in half. The hardest part of this was cutting this thing in half. It was pretty hard because it was a big one. So I cut it in half and then I just put it cut side down like this into the oven. That's all I did. Cut side down just like this and I put it in the oven on 350 for 40 minutes. As soon as it come out, it was hot. And all I did was take, I thought it was gonna be hard y'all. It's really not hard at all. I literally took my fork and just started do, digging the inside. I mean, you don't even have to dig. You just barely touch it. And it comes out into this beautiful noodle. So they're completely empty. It literally, it literally cored it out all the way to this to the shell. I mean, this is like a flimsy shell now because you took all of the vegetable outside. Now, I told Ricky, you actually could use these to make your dish. Like, you wouldn't have to take it out, but I did because I want to put mine in the oven. So, when you uh, fork it, it literally makes these beautiful little skinny noodles, which I love angel hair pasta. So, it reminds me of angel hair pasta. Now, I did salt and pepper mine because I always like to salt and pepper my veggies. So I've got my pasta over here in a baking dish. I've got my oven on 350, guys. We're actually going to mix this up and put it back in the oven because I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese to mine. Haley did not. So we got our spaghetti squash ready. Now tonight, we actually are going to take the spaghetti squash and make it a spaghetti style dish. You can do so many things with this. I'm so excited to try them all. So excited, seriously. I love new foods. I love new things. So now I'm actually making my meat sauce. Now, for the meat sauce, I personally, just like Haley, I'm using one pound of ground beef and one pound of Italian sausage. And I'm using the Reos Vodka Sauce. I haven't bought that in a long time, and Haley reminded me how delicious it is. I normally just buy the Reos uh, regular marinara, but I did buy the Reos Vodka Sauce. So I just put one whole 32-ounce uh, jar of Reos Vodka Sauce in my meat mixture. I added just a little bit of water. I'm going to turn this heat up, and I'm going to let this simmer for a minute. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, season this up just a little bit more. I love the vodka sauce, but I am going to put a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. So I'm going to do a teaspoon of garlic powder. Yes. Oh, you can't even see it. 
Y'all didn't tell me. You didn't tell me. You couldn't see. Okay, so a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm going to do a teaspoon of Italian seasoning and a teaspoon of onion powder. And I'm just going to let this simmer. Now, with your sauce, guys, you can make it as saucy as you want. Like, if you if you like a lot of sauce, then just use another can or another sim, another little bit more of, of, a ta of a, the actual Reyes. You can do as much or as little as you want. I really do like my spaghetti pretty saucy. I'm a saucy girl. <laughs> Not as saucy as Dakota. At least Dakota is very saucy. Uh, but I do like sauce, so I probably will add just a little bit more Reyes in there, but we'll just see. I'm going to let it simmer before I make that decision. Oops. going to wash that. Ah, can't pick it up. Come on. I cannot pick it up. Lord have mercy. Got to wash that out. Okay, so we've got our uh, meat sauce over here just to marinating, uh, or just to simmering. And again, I used one whole 32 ounce um, jar of Reyes vodka sauce. I'm going to show it to you. And I used uh, just a little bit of water. And then I put a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, and a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And it looks really, really good. We're just going to let this simmer because I want that sauce to taste really super yummy. Let me get a video real fast. <clears throat> I'm going to get my phone working. Oh, yes. And then what we're going to do after this simmers is we're going to pour it right over top of our spaghetti squash. If you want to mix it up, you can, or you can just make layers. I love to layer up spaghetti. And this is the Rails vodka sauce. Let me turn this around. Now, the Rails vodka sauce has one extra carb than the regular Rails marinara. This one has six net carbs and a half a cup instead of five. So when you look at it, it's got seven carbs. It's got one of fiber, so one minus seven is six and a half a cup. So it's six carbs and a half a cup. So this is a higher, I would definitely say this is a higher low carb meal because the spaghetti squash has carbs, of course. And then this Rayos has all the carbs as well. But it's okay. This is my one meal a day. And I told Ricky we're going to go ahead and cook early so we can have like a, like a, a lupper. <laughs> we're having a lupper where it's between lunch and supper. <laughs> And then if we decide that we're hungry later, we can just warm us up some more spaghetti squash. So this is going to make a lot more than just for me and Ricky. So I'll definitely take some leftovers this week for work. And again, I got an impromptu invitation uh, to Dallas. So I'm leaving Tuesday morning early uh, to take a quick flight to Dallas for the night. And then I'll be back on Wednesday evening. Uh, so I'm super excited about that, but it was not planned. So I've got to get some work done in the house. <laughs> we had a great time at the clubhouse this weekend with my mom and my dad and the puppy dogs. And we just had a wonderful restful weekend. Like we really didn't do much of anything. It was, it was pretty pitiful. <laughs> There's very little, very few times that we do nothing. And we, we honestly did absolutely nothing. So guys, let me know what you're doing for dinner tonight. What's your plans tonight? I also bought me and Ricky some blueberries. I'm going to make a lemon blueberry shuffle for dessert later. So I'm just feeling like cooking for Ricky. I don't know why, but um, he likes lemons and he loves blueberries. So we're going to make a lemon blueberry shuffle that he is going to love. The lemon shuffle is actually in the blog already, but I'm going to take the blueberries and just, uh, I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice and a little bit of Swerve Confection and uh, stir that up in the blueberries so it'll coat them with like a little sugar coating. And then I'm going to put that over the lemon shuffle. It's going to be delicious. Um, oh, I'm telling you, it was hard to cut open it, Andrea. I thought I was going to have to get Ricky uh, to come and do it for me, but I finally got it to cut. I just started cutting around the edge and just literally picked it up and cut all the way. Around. It finally popped open. <laughs> but I thought I was going to have to get Ricky into, in here to do it for me. Um... Oh, let's see. I'm turning this down some. It's going to cook fast. Uh, do you scrape out the seeds? Yes. I forgot about that part, Barbara. So when you cut it open, hey, mom, mom, hey, mom, she's going to try to get her points built up. We found out this weekend when she went to her Facebook page, it, she got a notification that she had 24 points from the Keto Queen. I was like, points? I didn't give you any points. So we pulled it up and it was telling us how to learn how to earn points. So it's too funny. So thank you, mom, for sharing. I love you. <laughs> Um, but yes, after you pop it open, you do want to just take a spoon and just scrape out. It kind of looks like pumpkin seeds. So you'll take out the pumpkin seed. I'm, I'm calling it pumpkin seeds. You'll take out the seedy center, just like a pumpkin. So you'll scrape out the seeds. And then, like I said, uh, put it in the, the oven on. I put mine on 350 for about 40 minutes. And I'm telling you, it was hot when it came out. But it was so easy to get your noodles. Guys, this is looking so yummy. 
I actually think I'm going to go ahead and stop at this point. I do have some Parmesan cheese, though. So what I'm going to do is pour this on top of my noodles over here, my spaghetti squash. And I'm going to top it off with just a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And I might actually even put just a little bit of mozzarella cheese. You don't have to do any cheese at all, but I do love Parmesan cheese over my spaghetti. Uh, my mom makes the best spaghetti in the world, but it's not keto-friendly at all. Uh, I think I might could possibly recreate it a little bit, Mom, with spaghetti squash and use sugar-free ketchup. My mom loves spaghetti ketchup in her uh, uh, spaghetti sauce, and I'm telling you, it's really, really good, but the way she does it is not keto-friendly, so I would have to uh, figure out a variation, but that's what I love to do. I love to take recipes and make them my own and make them low-carb or keto. All right, guys, that's it. I mean, this is so super easy. We're literally going to take this sauce, pour it over the spaghetti squash, top it off with a little parmesan, put it in the oven for about five minutes, we're good to go. I mean, fast, easy, delicious. Now, this did take 40 minutes to cook the spaghetti squash, but I was working in the kitchen. I was actually working on the recipe blog, so 40 minutes flew by just like that. I think I probably will always do spaghetti squash either on Sundays uh, when I'm working in the house or in the afternoons when I get home from work. I could always walk in the backyard while this is cooking and then throw our dinner together. Uh, but I like to cook and get my kitchen cleaned up really quickly during the week during the weekdays uh, just because we have to get to bed for the next work day. So I usually don't cook anything in the kitchen that takes more than 30 minutes cook, clean, eat, and all. <laughs> so this did take a little longer just because I had to wait on the spaghetti squash. All right, guys, this is smelling delicious. It looks amazing. We're fixing to throw this together, and then I'm going to um, start cleaning up. So guys, have an awesome evening. If I can help you with anything, just send me a message. And if you need getting started tips, guys, if you're brand new to keto, this is the first time I'm, I'm adventuring out in five full years with a spaghetti squash, but I've been eating low-carb keto for five years. I have tons of great recipes. Hey, Miss Kay. How are you doing, Miss Kay? I heard from your daughter today. I hope you're doing really well. Uh, let me show you this jar again. Miss Kay is asking to look at this Rayos. So here is the Rayos that I'm using. It's actually the vodka sauce Rayos that Haley recommended I try with this. Uh, I normally just buy the Rayos, uh, just the regular marinara. But I have had this before. It's just been a long time. So Haley reminded me of how good it is. So we're using this today with our spaghetti sauce. Um, and y'all can take a picture of it real quick. All right, awesome. All right, guys, I'm gonna get off here and mix it together. All I'm gonna do is pour this on top of this, shred some uh, uh, Parmesan cheese over the top, put it in the um, oven to let that cheese melt. My daughter said you can air fry squash after opening for 20. Wow, that sounds cool too. Never tried that, but this is the first time I'm buying spaghetti squash, so I'm super excited. Carol, the spaghetti squash, oh, she said she's getting some at the store. Well, look, this is the first time I've even seen it at the store because I've never tried to salt after it. I've never tried to look for spaghetti squash. I just always heard it takes so long to cook, I just wasn't interested. A shame on me because Haley is delicious. Haley made it, and it was just so delicious, so I'm excited for Ricky to have it. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off. I will talk to all of you guys later. Have a great night, and let me know if I can help you. Bye.